Yes, people, we are back with an actual announcement video from the great man, James Gunn. Mm -hmm. This is called Chapter One, Gods and Monsters. And if you don't know what this is, babes, and if you don't know what this is, audience, this is the new announcement, i.e. the DC Slate. I can imagine, and I can't imagine, what we're about to hear. But without further ado, smash that like. Ooh. Hit the subscribe button. I am so freaking interested in this. And I hope you guys are too. Because my gosh, DC has been on some madness. Because there are several DC movies coming out this year. And, and a lot of us don't even know if this is, you know, will they be the last one? But that's why here to find out. So we're going to find out. Do these people still have their jobs as well? Uh, Let's check this out. <laughs> are you ready for this? Well, why not? All right, come on. I know this is more my wild thing. I it can't is. I'm a DC man. I'm definitely. DC man. His, anything comical, we go this way. Let's go. Thank you, babes. I appreciate this. That's cool, babes. Hey, everybody. I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's one of, mm. you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. That the characters are consistent, played by the same actors, and it works within one story. And if something is outside of that, like matt reeves batman or todd phillips joker or teen titans go that it is clearly labeled as dc elseworlds outside of the mainstream dcu continuity okay, now okay. peter and i have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year first we have shazam fury of the gods yeah. shazam has always been off kind of in his own part of the dcu mm. so he connects very well that moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love. I'm looking that forward to that. resets the I entire to. DC universe. And then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film Ooh, yeah. about a kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman 2, which leads directly into our next few projects, which I'm going to tell you about now. So, Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an eight to 10 year plan of mm -hmm. what DC Studios will be in film, television, Big and time gaming. Man. This first chapter is called Gods and Monsters. Now this, what I'm about to tell you, okay. is a part of the first chapter. It's not the entire first chapter. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. Okay. I've written all the episodes. Something we're going to do that's a little bit different at DC is we're going to have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. Mm -hmm. The next project up is Waller. This is a story of Amanda Waller oh. played by Viola Davis. Oh. Viola Davis is going to team up with members of Team Peacemaker. And yeah, this is a story know. that's been created by Crystal Henry, who did Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. It is a fantastic story that's out of this world, and I can't wait for people no, I like to that. see it. I like that. Okay, next up is the big one, the true beginning of the DCU. Oh this is called Superman Legacy. This Ooh. is being written by me. Ooh. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. Ooh. Okay, the next thing is a big what? premiere it's HBO years television I series called lanterns this is a story okay. of a couple of green lanterns john stewart and hal jordan okay. and we have a few other lanterns peppered in there but this is really a terrestrial based tv show which is almost like true detective with a couple of green lanterns who are space cops watching over precinct earth in it they discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger story of the dcu Next is a big movie called The Authority. The Authority is a passion project of mine. Okay. It's based on the marvelous Wildstorm characters. We are now bringing into the DCU and will interact with all of our primary DCU characters. I don't know about this, but... The Authority serious. are a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and they want to fix it by any means necessary. I think it's a very different look at superheroes. We're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is a story of Paradise Island, usually known as Themyscira, which is the birthplace of Wonder Woman. Okay. It's almost okay. like Game of Thrones with Westeros, but with all of the inhabitants of Paradise Island. The introduction of the DCU's Batman is the brave and the bold. The Brave and the Bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian Wayne. This oh, is based shit. on Grant Morrison's okay. great comic book run. Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. 
He's a little assassin who Batman tries to get in line. And so this is the story of the two of them and the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DCU. Mm -hmm. Next up is a TV series Ooh. called Booster Gold. Booster Gold is one of comics really yeah. popular yeah, no. cult heroes. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future <laughs> who uses future technology to come back to present day I've and become a superhero this, um, so that people that will love this character in the DC, It is basically so the just, superhero just, story of imposter syndrome character. on an HBO Max series. Oh, no. One of my favorite comic no, no, book no, series no. from Bye, last brother. year was Tom King's run on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And so we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Oh, good. Okay. Now, Ooh. Superman is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents, whereas Supergirl in this story, she is a character who was raised on a chunk of Krypton. She watched everybody around her perish in some oh, terrible way. Well. So she's a much more jaded character. And that brings me to Swamp Thing, the last thing we're going to talk about, a very dark horror story in the what? origins of the monster who is Swamp Thing. Wasn't expecting that one. And although it's totally outside of the rest in of the good DCU, way. it will still feed into the rest of the stories. Anyway, those are the stories that I can tell you about right now. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're Same. incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to Thank do you. something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique mm -hmm. and something special. Storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to yeah. us. And I want to be true to mm -hmm. those stories. I want to be true to you guys and really give you something different than you've ever seen before. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate you watching. I hope this was exciting for you because it's really exciting for me. And I can't wait to start to dive into these stories with you guys on this grand adventure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 no, that's cool, man. That's cool. Can't remember every single project that he mentioned. Maybe I should have had a pen and a freaking paper. But the last one, we got Swamp Thing. No, I'm, I'm you gonna... were not expecting No, that. I wasn't expecting that because they, they had a TV show that was on Amazon Prime, which wasn't bad at all, and they cancelled it. Okay. Like, and everybody was like, what are you doing? That was actually, it was, it was more than half decent. It was pretty cool. So to actually have a movie about that, and he said more on a horror vibe. Yeah. That's, I'm like, I'm down for that. But um, the suit, like, obviously Superman, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very, 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 very like intrigued about that but obviously 2025 <laughs> i know when i heard the year i was like oh uh -huh, what 25 oh. gotta hang in there everybody be doing a healthy greens yeah, and yeah, a yeah. Job just so you can watch the superman god willing, god willing. I mean, yeah and, and who is that superman gonna be you're wearing that superman outfit by hey. the time you get to that showing oh yeah no but i know but either way i'm i'm quite gassed about that you had um amanda wallace gonna have her own project yeah like a TV show. that's gonna be pretty interesting yeah um, she they... don't mess about that character so. and it's gonna be viola davis which yeah. is great obviously very um, good very good actress i mean they mentioned booster gold i have heard of that person i know people oh. were very interested if they were gonna incorporate him into the dc world and boy you guys should be happy now because he's gonna be in it yeah, I can in my head see if I don't know their names, so I can visualize a few um, actors that suit that type. Well, no. or maybe they're used already. That's the thing. But the, okay, no, but that's a good point and a valid point because mm. they're, they're like there are people that James Gunn that he works with at Marvel mm. that I know for a fact. For instance, Chris Pratt, mm. the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, you know, that guy. Yeah. I know he may have been mentioned about Booster Gold before. Or, or, oh. I don't know, like some other cat, but you know. I don't mind that. I don't mind if you're going to get people from Marvel coming over to DC. I don't care. It's what it is. That's interesting. Or new actors in general, which yeah. most probably will There's be the case. There's a lot coming up. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of options. I'm sure a lot of people would want that contract. Ten years? I know. Ten years? This is, in the, one, this is going to be a big, massive scale of and longevity to that anybody casted. I mean, he wants them to be the same voice on the comic as well as in the film i think the animation to the movie you to yeah, the movie, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good isn't that like that's, that's, a, that's a huge deal no that's interesting yeah and, and obviously there's other like um you know green lantern i don't know if it was corpse like oh yeah like um you know i love green lantern so that's going to be a tv show there was other um oh, that, shit, no. i think you had like a movie that he announced which i have never heard of like i.e the characters or what or what not you know oh yeah i saw so, that there was like a union jack lady you said jerry halliwell of course jerry halliwell influence but obviously which came first the chicken or the egg and then you have um the, the other man in a suit 
and there's they look like they're quite which other man in a suit there was a man which in, the, in the, the image no in the image there yeah. was like a I mean, when i say suit a gentleman's suit like a tailored suit Boy, you know, I like don't know. he had a blazer on or something i'm blind my damn i'm blind there's sorry. a lot of images lot and of everybody going was going this way or that way oh yeah and then freaking oh sorry babes. yeah new batman project with robin oh yeah like but with his son as robin bat Get baby me? oh my god that's bat baby you're not bat baby <laughs> like yeah he has a bat he does have a bat baby but the bat baby turns into robin god damn it <laughs> that's gonna be freaking interesting but yeah, li yeah. like here's some people come on now please put it in the comments <laughs> yeah are you gassed are you excited about the announcement and educate us as well yeah. on these characters I'm from these new projects mm -hmm. that we ain't got a damn clue about. No, I mean, I love watching them when they come out. When I see the trailers, I get excited when they, when, as he said, as James Gunn said, mm. he, it's the storyline, isn't it? Yes, that's the most important I thing. love storyline. So once he said that, I was no longer sort of sitting on the edge. I was brought in because anybody working from with that perspective, you know, it's, it has to be strong. You're not just about the aesthetics. You, you want to you wanna pull out all the meat and deal with the bones. Damn right. That's what I'm talking about. You heard what she said. A few other things before I forget. And I'm very happy about this. Okay, so he mentioned the slate that's coming out this year. Mm. Like, you know, you, you, obviously you've got um, The Flash. So that's, like, we already know about that. But that was political because you don't know Ezra Miller is still going to be the actual Flash because of all the madness that he's caused, caused on the side. Oh, uh, no like, comment. No comment, as they say. Well, you know, you know, they've been dealing with it. But point being is every movie that's coming up on DC this year, doesn't sound like it's going to be like, you know, like dashed away permanently. You know, you mentioned Shazam. Mm, Shazam! Blue Beetle, which is a completely new product, which I'm extremely looking forward to as well. That um, The person that's playing that is, is from Karate Kid, the TV show. Oh, um, amazing. Is it, the, the, is it the... Uh, it's, it's one of the main characters. The one that fell down and hurt his back? Yes, that boy. Oh, I see, I sense that. I sense that. It is him. It is oh, him. Okay. I, and I think it's something like, he's going to be like one of the first Latino like proper superheroes as well and i've been oh. like it's, yeah, it's i think it might also be predominantly a latino cast as well oh like, about time then. so if they yeah. haven't had i mean why not they i don't believe so and i believe mm. this might be the first unless and, there's unless people have got that bag and we just don't know about it but it's good that they're making it a big uh it's a big a thing. big prominent move for and, and aquaman as well you know you know but like i'm listen aquaman man. i don't i know that's not the song just... it sounds like it could be a song what song aquaman it's not is it it's chest not... hold high yeah <laughs> Drinking that Guinness like yeah. he always does. All right, people, look, come on now, smash <laughs> that like, Woo! hit the subscribe button. We just got a new DC slate. Let's go. Ooh.